hello and welcome to my channel which is home mechanics right today we've got a little hater um, that needs a little bit of work on it um, the issue is um, it's very well used um, it still works you know it being a hater they go on forever um, if you're gonna get a mower get a hater or a Honda if you're gonna use it a lot you know I'm, I'm a great believer um, certain things you can get away cheaply in using other things you can't and if you're using a mower a lot you've got to go for hate or honda anyway back to the scenario it's starting to surge so when you start it you'll hear it in a minute it'll go Ooh. it still cuts the grass but it's just not we don't sound right and you know we want to get this thing running um so what we're going to do i'm going to show you um the mower on the floor and we're going to start it so you can actually see what it's doing um i don't think it warrants a full carburetor strip on this particular job if you wanted to see um, how I've stripped mowers in the past. Um, I think I've done a Honda Izzy and a Hater mower before. Took the carburetors off, stripped them, changed the diaphragms and the uh, gaskets, etc. Just look on the vi um, my videos below and, and you'll see that. But this particular one is hope is going to be a quick fix. And uh, so we'll start it and then we'll get it on the old birch there and see if we can just get this thing running a bit better, ready to cut the grass. Right, this is the little Hater 41. Um, what I'm going to do, we'll start it and then you'll see the hogging and the surging. I don't think it's going to justify the carb coming off at this particular stage. There is a quick way we can try and get this running a bit better. But let's have a look and see what she sounds like and I think you'll get the gist of what's going on. clearly see she's hogging there a little bit so I think we need to get up on the workbench over there and have a look at this carby. Right we've got the mower on the bench now um, first thing I'm going to do first is before you work with anything like this and we're only going to have a quick look at this carburetor is clear the crap out because the last thing you want to do is to open up this carburetor anywhere and get any of this grass on so we're just going to give it a quick blow nothing too spectacular just going to give it a quick clean There we go, nothing too spectacular. spectacular. Right, what we're going to do, just, I'm not interested in taking the carburetor off at this particular moment. I think there's an issue with the float bowl and there's a little jet in there, which I'll show you in a minute, which does cause a lot of surging on these, I believe so. So what we're going to do, we're going to gain access to it. Now, when I was learning to do mechanics and I'm self-taught, I've learned that only take off stuff that you need to take off. So when I'm working on a car or a van, or anything you want to create enough space to work you know don't struggle but if you don't need to take it off don't take it off you know and that's how I work so I'm not going to rip everything out I just need to gain access to the underneath of this carb carburetor here or in layman's terms carby we call it carby mechanical terms so I'm not going to go mad I'm not stripping everything down I just want to gain access so I can get a, a, a socket or a spanner onto that bowl and get that little jet out so what we're going to do just going to loosen this off here just to give me a little bit of slack here we go that's a little throttle put that there take this top cover off by the looks of it i love it <laughs> i love getting things going i mean at the end of the day i see so many small engine motors you know, be it mowers and that, and strimmers and changers go to the scrap yard when it just needs a carburetor clean. Or well, the worst scenario, when I've been working on um, mowers before, I mean, I don't just work on mowers, I do vans and cars, but I like when it gets a bit cold, I like to get inside the workshop. And, um, you know, a lot of the time, there's not a lot to them. And you can buy, you know, if you want, if the carburetor, um, not so much on haters, but on the little strimmers um, and things like that, um, when the carburetor's, I just, oh, you I mean you can change the gaskets on them, but honestly, I've done it, and you can do it. But the gasket kits used to be about ten quid. You can buy a a pattern carburetor off eBay or Amazon for about twelve, fifteen quid, and it's a straight fitting job, straight off, straight on. So sometimes, if you want this back on the back cutting grass, or you need your car done, buy a pattern part. <clears throat> but there's only certain times I do that. There's certain times that I buy genuine, and you know, as you go through my videos and I do videos, you'll show there's certain times you need to buy decent parts. Especially when you're doing a clutch on a car or a van, you would never ever put a cheap clutch in a car because the time it takes to get that out, to put that gearbox back in and that fails a month later, 
it's cutting, I've done it. I tried to cut a few corners once and it didn't work and I ended up doing the whole job. So lesson learned, so just take that on board. Now that air filter, I know is knackered. Um, and I'm gonna give this a service later on once I finish my video. But I'm just gonna give it a quick blow through because it will do for now. I will put it back on when we try and start it, but we don't want it to get in the But that will do for now just to get us out of trouble. Get back up there. Now where are we? Right, so basically there's a float bowl under here. Um, what I'll do is I'll bring the camera a bit closer and um, I'll actually show you what we're taking out and then you understand what I'm doing. Okay, this is the part under here that's called the float bowl. Now inside that float bowl is a little jet in the bottom and we're gonna get that little jet out and um, see if we can clean it, see if we can sort this. But first thing first, must remember to block the fuel off. Now I use one of these, you don't have to use one of these, it's a little clamp, but because we're taking the float bowl off, possibility what fuel's gonna start pumping through. So we don't want that. So we're gonna just gonna put this on the fuel supply pipe, which is around here. Okay, that's clamped off now. Should we get this little jet out? Let's have a look now. Let's have a look. Put that there. Here we go, she's coming undone. Here comes the fuel. Always come prepared, rag. Here we go. Right, take that off. Now this float's gonna be full of fuel, so I know it's gonna be, fuel's gonna come out a little bit. Well, anyway, definitely what's in the float bowl. Let's drop that socket there. It's a little bit fiddly, but it saves taking the whole carburetor off. And this is what we're after. See, there's a little bit of crap in there, look. See the rust in there? That's probably, that's not helping. On here, you can't see it. It's very, very small, but there's a little tiny jet in there. Let's just put that there so don't lose it. That is so tiny. Now we're gonna clean it out. And I'm gonna, just gonna go and get my special cleaning tools and we'll crack on with that. Right, here we go. We're going to clean this out. Now inside there, it's a tiny little jet. Got a little hole there. You've got a little hole. Be easy if I put it like that. There's a little hole through there. Now they get blocked. There's all different ways of doing this. I could put it in the ultrasonic cleaner, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use one of these little pin cleaners. Get them off eBay. There you go. Does the job. Just a little wire little bits of wire if you didn't have one of these you can you just use a wire brush and pull one of the bristles off so we're going to give this a quick razzle dazzle going to give it a quick poke as such we need to get this nice and clean that's too big that's too big let's have a look that looks like the baby That's it, I'm gonna give it a good, good clean. See, it's going through like that. Clean that up there, giving it a little clean, little twiggle. But you can, you know, you don't have to use one of these special tools. You can get them off eBay, but they're really, really handy for cleaning little carbs out. They don't really damage it. They're quite clever, really. And then what I'm gonna do, a little bit of carby cleaner. We're gonna flush it through with a bit of carb cleaner. Put that there. And what I want is when I put it through the top there, that hole, I want it to come through the sides. There we go. So what I'll do, I'll just get my other little cleaner. We'll give it a quick wipe and we'll put it back in. 
Right, we'll just give this little jet a final clear out with the old compressed air. If you haven't got a compressor, it's, it's no problem. It's just I happen to have one, so I might as well give it a second go. Um, just using these little tools is quite adequate to use. And just clean it out, or as I say, just get a bristle off a wire brush and just clean the holes out like that. So we need to put this float back in now then. I'm just going to give it a quick wipe. Again, this is not, um, what I'm showing is not a complete carburetor clean. We just want to get this up and running. So if this doesn't work, then the carb's going to have to come off. But this would normally be a quick fix to sort that surging. So put the float up underneath there. Like so, a little bit fiddly, if it's doable. Once she bites, she bites. Here we go. It is a little bit fiddly there, but it does go. Now, I'm just going to do it by hand. Now, I can get back on my knees, get my socket. Just going to hold that up. So I want that float bowl to go up nice and square. Right. Let's do this bad boy up, shall we? Don't want to over tighten this. Doesn't need to be over tightened. There we go. Not too tight because you'll strip the threads in there. Let's give it a little wipe. What we do now, I'm going to release the clamp here and to see if she leaks. Hopefully not. One clamp, they're handy. Get hold of one of them if you can for fuel pipes. Do the finger test. She's not leaking, that's a good sign. We'll leave that for a fast second just to make sure. Get the old torch out and have a look. Here we go. So there, it's enough, much better there. You can see, if I point the torch down, you can see that's the float you come down. It's a little bit fiddly putting it up, but it saves taking the whole mechanism off with all the connections and the wires and that's so much quicker. If it doesn't work, well, I'm gonna have to take the carburetor off, but. The name of the game is to get this mower back working so it needs to run its key. So we're happy there. There's no leak on there. So we know this filter is dirty and knackered, but I am going to replace it. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to put it back in just so we can see if it starts or has cured the surgeon. Oops. Here we go. So, let's do that little baby up. All the fun, isn't it? You know, so I get a great satisfaction, and I'm sure my uh, viewers do, that to fix something, and you've done it yourself, it's great. It's absolutely bob on. Here we go, that's on. Got a little clamp here, aren't we, to put on that on there that bad boy there and that was about so you can see there i normally mark them up but i can see where the cable went by the marks on there already like the dirt marks. so we can just offer that up like that get this bad boy on let's get her done up start our finger tight again don't overdo them too tight you don't need to do these really tight that's why i've gone on to a little ratchet these are another another handy tool to have the little tiny ratchets, the quarters. Lovely. Like that. And we've got a little cover to go on here. Oh, look out. Forgot to do that, haven't I? That needs to go in there. Bad boy. There we go. There you go. Just shows. 
everyone makes mistakes that needs to go on the top of that there we go we're just unloosen that it's no big deal just undo that there we go Cut that there things are a bit cold this morning so we need to put this cover on first before we go any further that's cool right Right, so this needs to go on. Let's just put this bad boy on. Let's put it on loosely. So it gives me room and slack to get this in there like so. That goes in there, that's better. That's better. And that goes in like that. That's it. There we go. Simple, isn't it? It's not rocket science. Just take your time. It's all you've got to do. Yeah, it desperately needs a service, this. But we just want to, just for purposes, just to see if we can get that done. If we can stop that surging. Right, so what we're going to do now, is take it outside and see if she starts. And see if she's improved. Here we go then so we spent a little while on the workbench there taking the float bowl out and uh, cleaning the uh, little jet in the bottom there um, I feel quite confident it's gonna start okay but if it doesn't the carburetor's gonna come off but going back this is very very common fault especially with these haters that have a little jet at the bottom of the float bowl so say so put it all back together seal it up let's give it a go and see how it runs shall we There we go. It took a few turns to turn over because it, obviously the float bowl was empty and I've had to pull a few pumps through there, but I feel quite confident that's running. Now, if you look at that now, running sweet. There we go. That's another one we saved from the scrapyard on Richard's Home Mechanics that we can get on the get back cutting that glass. Thanks for watching me. Don't forget to subscribe to me and put that notifier on because there's plenty more coming. See you soon. Bye.